Good afternoon. Today we are going to study the past progressive, that is, an ongoing past actions. Okay, let's start by looking at the meaning and the uses. Well, let's look at the meaning. Um, the past progressive is an action continuing in the past. Okay, it's an action continuing in the past. For example, they were studying hard yesterday in the past. Okay, let's look at another example um, for uses. Let's study now the uses. So the first use, we use the past progressive to express the duration of an activity. For example, five hours. Uh, they were studying hard for five hours. Okay, the duration of the activity, five hours. Okay, we can also use the past progressive for actions repeating in the past, repeating many times in the past. For example, he was kicking the ball many times. Okay, okay. now let's look at the form of the past progressive. Okay, the form. So we have our sample sentence. She was reading a book. Okay, the first thing to note is that we use the past form of the be auxiliary, that is, was, were. Here the be auxiliary is was. And we use the present participle form of a verb, read, reading. Okay, she was reading a book. Let's look at another example. They were studying hard. Here the be auxiliary, were, and the present participle form of the verb, study, studying. They were studying hard. Now, let's look at the be auxiliary and how it changes depending on the person. So we know that the be auxiliary has two forms, was and were. Okay, and it changes depending on the person. I say I was, he was, it was, you were, she was, they were, the student was, the teachers were. Okay, if the subject is singular, we use was. So I, he, it, she, the student was. If the subject is plural or you. We use were. So you, they, the teachers were. Okay, now let's look at negating the past progressive. Okay, so he was feeling good. To negate, we add not after the be auxiliary. He was feeling good. He was not feeling good. Okay. All right, let's look at another example. Again, if we want to negate, if we want to make the negative statement, we add not after the be auxiliary. So, for example, they were playing games. They were not playing games. Let's look at more examples as, and let's look at contractions. So, she was working. She was not working. Contracted negation. She wasn't working. Okay, let's look at another example. Um, another thing, the contraction occurs between the be auxiliary, was, and negate the uh, uh, not. So, was, not, wasn't. Okay, now let's look at another example. They were sleeping. They were not sleeping. Contracted negation. They weren't sleeping. Once again, the contraction occurs between the be auxiliary, were, and not. So, were, not weren't. Now let's look at yes no questions. So when we make a yes no question we move the be auxiliary before the subject. Remember the be auxiliary has two past tense forms was and were. So for example the past third person singular be auxiliary she was cooking. Okay we're gonna move was before the subject. She was cooking. Was she cooking? Okay. Then we have a past plural be auxiliary. They were eating. The be auxiliary were. It's going to be moved before the subject. Were they eating? Okay. So, uh, yes, no questions are answered with a yes and a no. She was studying. Was she studying? Was she studying? Yes, she was. Okay. Now let's look at WH questions. We have six WH words and they request information. We use how for manner. How were you getting home yesterday? By car. 
We use when for time. When were you studying? At 5 p.m. We use why for reason. Why were you studying? Because we use who for person. Who was studying? She was studying. We use what for things. What were you studying? I was studying it. And we use where for places. Where were you studying? I was studying on eighth place. Okay, so when we make an information question, we add a WH word to a yes no question. For example, she was cooking statement. Was she cooking? Yes no question. Why was she cooking? WH question, information question. Let's look at another example, statement. They were eating. Yes no question? Were they eating? WH question, when were they eating? All right, uh, information questions are answered with information. For example, again, she was studying, that's a statement. Yes, no question, was she studying? WH question, what was she studying? So, what was she studying? She was studying math. Now, let's do a quick summary. Uh, we use the past progressive for an ongoing past action. Yesterday, I was having breakfast. We use the past form of the be. Uh, now, let's talk about the form. Uh, to write the past progressive, we use the be auxiliary, so was, were. And we use the present participle form of a verb, eat, eating. So, he was eating the pie. Be auxiliary was, present participle, eat, eating. Uh, the uses... The present, part is, the present progressive is used for repeating actions. He was kicking the ball many times. And for duration of time, he was sleeping for five hours. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, please email me. And I look forward to meeting you in class. Have a good day.